and gives it a different meaning mathematically. Mackenzie, how about the first one? Uh, this would be 800,000, 830,545. 545, right? Yeah. You, I, I know what you're saying, and I know you had it right, but I'm, just, I'm being kind of a little stickler on that, and I want to make sure that we, we read it correctly, too. Autumn, how about the bottom one? You may be on mute. Eight hundred. One. Take a look. This is a four. Oh, sorry, four. There you go. Okay, very good. Might have been just tough to see on the Zoom call there. So here's your math message today. They want you to take a copy of Math Masters, page eighty-three, and um, I didn't print it off for you. I'm going to be honest because there's not a whole lot that I can do with the people at home. But this is essentially what it looks like. Oh boy, it's way too big. Way too big. It's just half of a star. Okay? And what they want you to do on this is they want you to generally complete the star. But when you try and complete it freehand, it never turns out quite right. Like this, you go, uh, 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 uh. Like that's pretty good, but it's not perfect, right? Yeah. But what they're trying to show you here is symmetry. And what symmetry means is that you can draw a line down the middle of something, and it, it's, it's exactly the same on one side as it is on the other. Here's your line of symmetry is this dotted line. Now, if you really wanted to complete the star perfectly, does anybody have an idea of what you could do to complete it perfectly? Rajan, what could you do? Um, you could just use the computer and copy Well, you can only use things you have in the classroom. Ruler? You could use a ruler, but you're probably still going to be a little off if you just use a ruler. Macy. You could use the scissors and cut it out. Okay. You could do that. If you did that, there's still another step that we're probably missing here, though, that you need to do. Maddie. Um, like Macy said, you can cut it out, but then you can trace it, and then just cut that trace out, and then add it to the other one. The first step to do would be to fold on that dotted line. Yes, that's what I was missing. If you fold on that dotted line, and then, now if I'm asking you to draw it, what you should do is you should look for the point. You should look through and look where the point is, make a dot. You'd make a dot. I'd probably make a dot here, 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 here. And then I'd use my ruler, like Rajan said, to connect them. Now if I was just cutting it out, you can fold on that line and then cut on the black line, right? Mm -hmm. But what we're going to look at today is I'm going to put up a bunch of shapes today for you guys, and we're going to be looking for lines of symmetry. How many lines of symmetry does this have? One. Okay, but what if I did this? Two. Okay, well, what if I did this? Three. 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 Nope. Nope. Mm. It would be if I had drawn it perfectly. So it's got three? Mm -hmm. What if I did this? Four. Four. Five. It has five. Four. It has five. Well, you drew it. That's three. It has five. Right. Wouldn't this also be one? Yeah. Yeah. Then you have six. One, red, two, the blue, three with the green, four with the black, five with the dotted green, right? Mm -hmm. So it's got five lines of symmetry. Rajan. There's actually another line. I don't think there is. Where is it? Oh, it's like... Oh, 
I do my. If you look though, that's that's already one. Oh. That one has to go through. But if I did that, Rajan, we'll look at that in a second, okay? Trust me, right now there's only five. We gotta start at a point and go right through where these two lines meet each time. Do you see that? Start at a point, go through where the two lines come up, start at a point, start at a point. You guys see that? Yep. Now, Raj, I'm going to erase these. I'm going to show you yours, the one that you saw. Because it can get a little confusing when there's lots of lines. Oops, I messed up. Oh. Just absolutely. That's actually really good. That star is a little better than the first one. Maybe. Rodden, you were saying from like here to here. Uh, yeah. See why it's not? Okay. Mm -hmm. All right, I'm going to try calibrating this one more time before we move on. So what I want you guys to do is I want you guys to open up to page 61 in your math journal. Yep. Perfect. You know, if you look at this, this isn't this isn't right. I should have just used that one when I was drawing my lines of symmetry. It would have been better. Finding lines of symmetry. Awesome. There it is. Okay. So if you look at the top of page 61, everybody on the Zoom call, do you guys have the have the page 61? I want to make sure everybody's in that needs to be in. Everybody got that? And you guys have page 61. That's what's most important right now. Obviously, nobody has this but me. If you look up at the top of 61, it says... Uh, to cut out the drawings of Math Masters, page 84, fold them to find the lines of symmetry. We're just going to do them up here. Take a look at the leaf. How many ways could you fold that and have it be the same on both sides? Take a look at that. You can put down your answer if you'd like, and then I'll review it. you probably do the leaf and the football right now. Go ahead. This isn't quite as fun because we're not getting to do it hands-on, but it's okay. Does anybody need more time? Zoom people, you guys got to use voices. Anybody need more time? Me. I do. Okay. Give you another second or two here. The answer for this one is one. I'm going to talk to you about two different ways you can do symmetry. This has what's called vertical line symmetry. That's why I put a V up there. So if it has symmetry, a vertical line of symmetry goes up and down. Do you guys see that? Mm -hmm. This does not have what's called horizontal symmetry, because horizontal symmetry is like that. There's also diagonal symmetry, which we'll talk about later, okay? which is neither of these. But if you look, if I were to take this pointed end, so if we fold it on the line, this is going to go over to here, right? But if I fold it from top to bottom, I'm going to have a point on a rectangle. Do you guys see that? Does that work? No. No, it doesn't really work. 
Okay, how about the football? Does anybody, do we have the football done? Yeah. Okay, does it have vertical symmetry? Yes. Yeah. Most definitely it has vertical symmetry. I know my line isn't perfect. Best I can do. Does it have horizontal symmetry? No. no. Yes. 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 Well, let's take a look. One, oh, again, smart board being, being awesome. One. One. Ah. Okay, we're just going to count them. It's the best way I can do it. What it comes down to here is the laces. How many laces do we have? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Yes. Okay. So, if I go like this, top and bottom, work my way to the middle, two, three, four. If I split it right in the middle of this fifth lace, one, two, three, four, five. Mr. Ruff. Does it have horizontal symmetry? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Because I could take this point and fold it down to this point and fold that ball in half, right? Mm -hmm. Elizabeth, yes. Wouldn't it work if they had an even number also? It would. Because if they had an extra lace, yes, you're right. But I needed to know how many there were so that I knew there should be the same number on each side, right? So, Elizabeth, if there was a tenth lace, then I'd go in between the fifth yeah. and sixth lace. Very good question. But because there's only nine laces, I have to split the fifth lace in half. Four on each side, and that fifth lace they share, right? Mm -hmm. So i got to split that in half. Make sense? Mm -hmm. People on the Zoom, making sense? Yeah. Elizabeth, yeah. another question. Um, are we going to talk yeah. about horizontal uh, later? Yeah, because neither of these have, do either of these have horizontal symmetry? You could do the flip yeah, one. Do the flip one. But if I took this and folded it over, is it going to oh. be the same? If I fold this right now like this, this point right here is going to come and end up over here. Yeah. So it does not have horizontal symmetry. <laughs> Try the turtle in the bow tie. Because that's what they gave you. How are we doing, everybody? We doing okay? Remember, if you have questions, you have to ask. Oh, the turtle's kind of hard to see. I'm gonna try. Uh, I'm gonna try turning off the light to see what happens. Might make it worse. Oh, yeah. That made it way worse. Let's try both lights on and see what happens. Yeah. You can you can barely see the snorkel. Oh, that's kind of good. Can you guys see that better now or worse? People on the Zoom, better or worse? The same. About the same? Then I think we should go back to the original. Yeah, I, I apologize. I know it's not the best, but let's try moving you a little closer. I don't know what just happened. Oh, shut down. Shouldn't have happened. I don't know why that happened. I didn't press the off button. That happened, that's happened before, hasn't it? Yeah, remember, remember um, on our Zoom call, it like, you just. It's yeah, that was my fault. I was trying to turn the volume up and I hit the wrong button. And then it said auto with the host. Yeah. She's the host again now. 
there's somebody else. Mr. Rogers. No, because it's turned on, isn't it? No, that would be on. Oh. <laughs> Adam is very on top of these things. How do you know that? Because I played Among Us and that happened. Well, yeah, the first. How does Zoom have to do it? Okay, guys. Make sure that you're getting this done. The last time it, it happened, I was the first one to join, but Otto turned into the host. Yeah, if that ever happens, guys, just wait. I'll always join back up. Just relax. Sometimes that, that happens, and I'm just trying to get you guys a better view of SmartBoard. Yeah, we're going to have to go from there. I don't know how else to do it. So, All right, so looking at the turtle. What kind of symmetry does the turtle have, class? Vertical or horizontal? Both. Both. It only has one. What? Vertical. Vertical. What? Your foot isn't. It has vertical symmetry. If you fold it, if it's just a picture. You wouldn't actually fold a turtle. But if you were to fold that turtle the way that it's drawn, this leg would go over to this side, this leg would go over to this side, the two eyes would match up. If you went horizontal, you'd have the head folding down to the tail, and the front leg folding to this leg. Are they the same? No. No, so you don't have it there. On the bow tie, do you have vertical symmetry? Yes. Yes, yes you do have vertical symmetry. How about horizontal? Yes. 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 Oh. Not with the smart, smart board, you don't. No, not with the smart board. Close enough. You guys can see where this should touch that. <laughs> now, kids normally get a little confused on this one and they say it has horizontal symmetry. But I want, I'm going to erase these. Are we good that it has these two? Yeah. Okay, so let's take a look at the bow tie and horizontal symmetry. What I want to do is I want to make it bigger. Okay. So now hopefully I can avoid where the smart board doesn't really work. So take a look at this. If I fold on this line, is this corner going to end up down here? Yes. I don't think so. Oh, no. Because if I fold this on this line, this point's going to end up down here. Think about it, if I fold it from here to here, this point's going to come down and it's going to be, it's going to look something like this when you fold it. It would be a lot easier if we had like actual paper. Oh, you're telling me. This is the joys of, it would look like that if you folded it. This is the joys of distance learning. You guys see how that one does not have it? It's going to be easier when we do actual shapes. Okay, so now it's asking you for polygons, right? And here you guys can see if I did them right. See if I can find where they actually have That's the shape. That's sometimes happens when you're playing Among Us. <laughs> the two imposters are across, are on the same side. All right. So I actually probably want to print that. The one imposter here and the one imposter here. No, not what I want. Come on, give me the shapes here. No, no. triangle. And like I said, I know that 
This is not perfect. Um, oh, I gotta let Jason. Sounds like. Yay, distance learning. All right. Hey. Uh, now I gotta see if he's on. Chase, can you hear me? Chase, can you hear me? Chase, you got me? Yeah. Okay, we're on page 61. We've already done the top, uh, the leaf, the football, the turtle, and the bow tie. Now we're on the polygon, so you, you missed that part, which is okay. You're going to get the polygon part, okay? You okay? All right, if you need something, yell. Here we go. Taking a look at this. What I would do if I'm working on these is I'm going to look and I'm going to first ask myself, does it have vertical symmetry? Yes. Yes. So now i got to look at this. With all sides the same, this is an equilateral triangle, yes? That's yes. All the sides are the same. But the, the bottom is smaller than the other two. Oh, I think you actually might be right. I think I misspoke. Good job, Elizabeth. I think you caught, caught a mistake that I maybe wasn't thinking. No, no, actually, this does say it's equilateral. What? Yep. It might not really look like it. It's hard to look at it. If I fold this to here, yeah, if it was can I take this and put this point to right here? Yeah, yeah, you can. And if I do that, I'm folding it from here, yeah. right at this point, and taking this point up to here. Can I do that? Yes. yes. You bet I can. So does this have, this would be kind of like having a diagonal line of symmetry. Does that make sense to you? Mm -hmm. So, could I also do this? Yes. Yes, yeah, you may. That's the worst. Okay, so how many lines of symmetry on the triangle? Three. Very good. Line number eight. Now, why can this one have three? Because this one has all the same angles. If they don't have the same angles like you're going to see on the next one, it doesn't work that way. So this has three lines of symmetry. You should get that written in. Now let's look at polygon B, which I have to move stuff around for you. Oh boy, polygon B is big. I don't even know if I can get it all on the screen. Polygon B, we good? Everybody good? Okay, so for this one, hopefully you're already trying to think ahead and trying to figure out how many um, lines of symmetry that has. Can I fold it, if I fold it from this corner up to here, is it going to have symmetry? No. Is it the same on both sides? No. So then is this corner going to work? No. Okay. But if I fold it from this point here and take this to this, will it work? Yeah. No. Yeah. Okay, let's take a look. It only works for that one, though. Yeah. But it only needs, it only needs to work one way. We're trying to figure out how many ways we can fold it. Mackenzie, does that make sense? Yeah. So it doesn't matter if it just has one, then it still has symmetry. This has symmetry, but it only has one, one line. Make sense? Mm -hmm. This one has one line of symmetry. How are we doing? Good. All right, so now I'm going to make it bigger again because I think we can get the rest of them on. Not too big, too big, too big. Right, so now take a look at C. Which letter was the triangle? B. We're going right down the list. The first one. A. Hmm. 
Okay, C is what kind of shape? A square. Yeah, C is a square. Now remember with the triangle, when all sides and all angles were the same, then we could fold a whole bunch of different ways, right? Mm -hmm. Well, when all sides and all angles are the same on a square, we're also going to be able to fold it a lot of different ways. So initially, right away, we know this has, does it have vertical? Yeah. Yeah, it certainly does. It has vertical, right? Mm -hmm. Does it have horizontal? Yes. yes. It also needs diagonal. Okay, Bray Lynn says it has diagonal. Do we agree? Yes. Yeah, because you could take this corner and fold it to right here. Take this and put it right here, and then your line of symmetry is going to be... I could take this and go, boop, right? And if I can do that, can't I also do yep. that? Yeah. Yep. I like how the smart board went goofy right at that perfect spot, so it actually looks like I did a good job. Yay! Yay! Yay. So how many lines of symmetry does this have? Four. One diagonal, horizontal, a second diagonal, and a vertical. How many lines of symmetry on the square? Four. Four. Very good. Okay. So now we need to take a look at D. D. Hopefully I can fit D on the screen. Hopefully. Well, let's all hope. Yay! Yay! Okay. Take a look at this. See how many lines of symmetry you think this one has. Letter D, I don't know how well you guys can see on the zoom, it's right here. This one's letter D. Okay, we ready? Anybody need more time? Speak now or forever hold your peace. Can you do it vertically? Just like this? Yes. yes. No. no. Because if I fold this, if you look, if I went right down the middle, isn't the blue shorter than the green? Yeah. So if I fold this right there, the blue is only going to get over to like right here, right? And on this side, this bottom piece is going to fold way over to here, yes? yes. So that, that vertical doesn't work. Does everybody see why vertical doesn't work here? Yes. Okay. And again, I, I apologize. This is a lot more fun lesson when everybody's here. But if half of you had it, and half of you at home, you could have this sheet too, but then we're cutting it out, and it, it would just be chaos trying to get that organized in multiple locations. You guys understand this? So I apologize. How about horizontal? No. If I go like this. No. no. Well, if I fold that, is this point going to end up down here? No. Or is this point going to end up right there? Right there. Right there. So does it have horizontal? No. No. It won't work. And this point right here, if I fold right there, it's going to end up out there, right? Because it should go down. In a straight line, yes? Yes. Oh. Yeah, what's up? Mr. Yes, what's up, Chase? Chase? Um, for some reason, like... You're cutting out on me. Okay, try re-entering the, the chat, okay, or the Zoom. See if that helps. Exit and then come back in. So, what if, and i got to keep bouncing back to get him back in, what if we went from like here, oh. Oh my god. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. 
Okay, so let's say now I'm starting from here. Oh my and I went through there. Will that work? Yes. yes. Because if I fold right there, this point will come down to this point. that point. Okay, that's one way it works. Will it also work this way? Yes. Yes. Yeah, yes. that way would also work. So this didn't have vertical or horizontal, but it kind of had two diagonals, right? Yep. I'm waiting to see if... Chase, did your picture come back? No. Yeah! Yay! Small Yay. victories during the time of COVID. Okay, we've got some more to look at. Braxton, or Braden, sit up. Do you need some, do you need a cheer to get you pumped up? Ah, yay. Okay. How about um, lasers of learning? E. Okay, then we're on F, I believe, right? We're on E. Oh, is E on the other one? Yeah. I skip E. Oh, silly me. I was getting ahead of myself. Silly me. I'm on E. Figure out how many E's got. It's this rectangle. This is one that kids sometimes make a mistake on. Okay, first thing I always check, does it have vertical? Yes. So right down the middle, can I fold that over? Yep. Yes. yep. I can try and put this corner here, and I can put this corner here, and that will match up. How about horizontal? Yes. yes. This corner is going to come up here. This corner is going to come up here, and that would work. Diagonals. Yes. No. Okay. Let's look at diagonals. I'm going to remove these. Everybody good with that? Yep. On your diagonal, best I can do, if you think about this, yes, if I was asking you to split this in half, are they split in half? No. Yes. yes, they are. But if I fold this, remember, in order to kind of have that diagonal, they have to have the same sized sides, like equal sides, and equal angles. This has equal angles, but does it have equal sides? Yep. No. If you are to fold a rectangle, and I, I can actually show you this because that's just using a piece of paper, right? So I'm going to use our regular plural spelling sheet that I don't need anymore from yesterday. Everybody see this? Mm-hmm. Okay. Here's my diagonal symmetry. No. Is that no. working? No. no. That's why I make a picture into a square. Yeah, it's, it's making it into something, that's for sure. It looks like a bow or a hat. So it's not... It's not working, and, and you can see that if I went the other way and tried to put this corner to this corner, Dang. I've got, it's goofy, it doesn't work, right? So, remember, if it's going to have diagonal symmetry, it has to be what we would call like a regular poly, that's a regular polygon, it's a rectangle, but it has to be equilateral. Mm -hmm. Equal sides, equal angles. Everyone understand that? Mm -hmm. In order to have diagonal symmetry, we're going to need to have equal sides and equal angles. Now, you're probably asking, well, Mr. Roth, what about D? Well, if I were to take D, okay, we said it had um, horizontal or diagonal symmetry. But what if I were to draw this? Because what it is is a rhombus. What if I were to draw my rhombus, not where the smart board's terrible, but if I drew it like this? Now, does the rhombus have vertical and horizontal symmetry? Yes. yes. Yeah, because now it would be that way. You guys see that? It's okay. Go. So, therefore, was this really, was this really diagonal symmetry? No. No, they had just taken the shape and shifted it a little bit. I know some of you, some of you would have tried to get me on that. You would have been like, but Mr. Roth, the rhombus had different angles and sides and... It was still, it's a, okay, now I've explained it, right? We good? Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's what you guys saw. No, I'm kidding. All right, here we go. We're looking at this. F, this one's a tricky one. Take a look at F. You 
guys ready to go through it? Yeah. You're going to have vertical. No. 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 Nope, because if you look, this side is smaller than that, that side. side. So if I folded this over, this side isn't going to get all the way over. This side's going to get way over here, right? Yeah. How about vertical? Or horizontal, excuse me. No. No. Same deal as that other one we looked at. What one was that on the other page? D. D, I think, yeah. So now, remember to have diagonal equal sides equal angles. Is this going to work for diagonal? No. no. Probably not. No. So this one is our very first one that has zero. This is our first polygon that we've come up with. This parallelogram has zero lines of symmetry. Zero about, lines of symmetry. What about diagonal? We just talked about that. Elizabeth, in order to have diagonal lines of symmetry, they need to have equal sides and equal um, angles. angles. I've said that a couple times. In order to have diagonal symmetry, they're going to have to have equal sides and equal angles. I'll show you another example of that. Yes, I hear somebody talking on the Zoom. What's your question? Do we have a question on the Zoom? Okay, then I'm moving on. And if you look, Elizabeth, if I do this split diagonally, when I fold this, this point's going to come down in a rectangle like this. Because this isn't going to be able to get all the way over to here. See the weird line that it would have? Okay, so now we're looking at G. We'll just keep working through them. Oh, boy. How's our vertical looking? No. No, 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 no vertical there. How about our horizontal? No. Diagonal from here to here? No. Because if I did that, it would look something like this, right? That's how. That's how this would fold over, yes? Yeah. Yep. What about from here to here? Yeah. That one's a yes. Yeah. Yeah. If oh. I fold here, won't it's this like go down here? Yeah. Yeah. So oh. this one, although it looked at first at first sight the way they had it sitting, you're thinking, oh boy, that one doesn't have one. But one. it does have one. He's gotta look at it a different perspective. Now this, this next one, we can leave it up because we're working on H. H to me, just from looking at it, looks like it could. But this is a scalene triangle. We have three kinds of triangles. We had equilateral. That means all sides the same, all angles the same, yes? Yes. We had isosceles. Isosceles is where... Two of the sides are the same, and the base is different, right? Mm -hmm. This is scalene. All sides are different. Mm -hmm. If you want proof on that, I'll measure them. Do you want me to measure them? Yes. yes. Okay, I'll measure them. This is a scalene triangle. So if all sides are different, what else is probably all different? Angles. Angles, yes. This side is roughly 22 inches, about 21 and, a, 21 and 3 quarters. This side is about 18. This side is 28. All sides different, yes? Yes. Okay. Because to me, when I look at this just visually, I think you could split it something like that. And then when you do split it, you see that... But the reality is, is this blue side the same... Is this green side? Yeah. No. Which side's bigger? Green or blue? Blue. Green. 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 green is probably the bigger of the two sides. And when you fold this, the blue is probably actually going to end up going 
like that. Because yeah. it's got to be a mirror image. Another yeah. zero? So this one is a what? Zero. This one's a zero, yeah. Good job, guys. I like the way that you guys are working with me today. I like the way that you guys are staying focused. And I like how some of you are kind of trying to guess how many there are. So we got two left of our polygons. Okay. Now, if you look at these, what do you notice about this one is a hexagon, this one is a pentagon. What do we notice right away about those two, about the hexagon and the pentagon that they gave us? I'll take anybody right now. I'll take a blurt right now. Go for it. They, uh, they both fold in half. Okay. Uh, that they all, for both of them, all their sides are equal. All sides are equal. That's huge. All sides equal. What else do we notice? Well, with the eye, some of the lines, the two lines that are right here are smaller. Whoa. About 10? Whoa. About 10? Whoa. It does look a little bit bigger, but about 10? Whoa. About 10. I think that's part of their, their intention was to make them all the same. Same thing here. About 11. A little smaller. But all angles, do all angles look the same here? Yep. No. Yeah, all angles look the same here. These ones will probably, knowing that, knowing that the angles are the same, and the sides are pretty much the same, what are we going to end up with here? At least two. We're going to end up with some, what, Delia? We are going to end up with diagonals. Yes, Delia! Yes, give yourself a high five, because that's awesome. Delia, you knew exactly where I was going with it. So, uh, we're going to do I first. Vertical. Can we start at this point and go down? Yeah. Yes. Okay. Yes. How about horizontal? Straight horizontal. No. Yeah. <laughs> no. Nope. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, horizontal, I don't think so. Okay. Could I go from this point and go straight down? No. no. Yeah. Yeah. No. 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 I think their intent is that you could. I'll see what the book says here. The book says you can, but I understand. I understand. This point should go here. But if I took this point, okay, just pay attention before you interrupt. If I folded this point to this point, won't this point come to this point? Yeah. All right. If it were equal. Yeah, and that, that was their intent. So now, if I'm starting from here, we've always, we start from a point, we go to the opposite base. How about that? Mm -hmm. Yep. Yeah. This point. Yep, sir. <laughs> How many lines of symmetry for this? Five. 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 So really, there's a line of symmetry for every, every point that you have, every vertex, right? Or a line of symmetry for every side. You can start from the side. I just figured out something with that information. What's that? That one should have six lines of symmetry. Okay. Parker says this should end up having six lines of symmetry. Should we see? Yes. Okay. Vertical. Yes. Horizontal. Yes. Parker, do you think it's still going to have six? Yep. Okay. If I start from this point, now here's, here's where we got to think a little bit. On this one, are we going point to base or are we going point to point? Point to point. Here we're going to go point to point because there's an even number. And if I fold this, Will this go to here? No. Should. This one go to here? Yep. 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 Point to point. Yep. We 
good there? Yep. Mm -hmm. So far I've got one, two, three, four. Are there any more? No. no. Get ready for your mind to get blown. I knew that. Base? Base. To base. What? 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 I what? knew the first got be six, but I didn't know how that. Okay. What? If I fold that, won't this point, if I fold on the blue, won't this point go to here? Yes. You bet it will. Okay, I see one more. I know. This base? That base. Well, it's doing base to base for the horse, for the um, for the ver vertical. For the vertical, yep. So if you look, the vertical we have three base to bases, they're side to sides. Vertical, diagonal, diagonal. Then we had a horizontal that went point to opposite point. Another diagonal point to opposite point, point to opposite point. How many total did we have? Six. One, two, three, four, five, six. six. All you gotta do is kind of. Yeah, she did a good job there. But she didn't know it was like that. Yeah, I didn't know it was going to be I don't think anyone knew. So now, so now, okay, guys, I'm gonna take this back a screen. I want you guys to think about. I and J, the last two we did, the pentagon and the hexagon. Well, those are the answers, but you can't see the ones that I wanted you to see anyway, so we'll go. We're right here now. How many lines of symmetry did the pentagon have? Class? How many lines of symmetry did the pentagon have? Five. Five. So put that in. How many did the hexagon have? Six. Without blurting, how many lines of symmetry would you expect a regular octagon to have? Don't blur it, write it in. Eva, how many would you expect the octagon to have? It's not a maybe, it's a definitely. If it's a regular octagon, it'll have eight. Here, should we look at it? I'm going to do my best to draw it. That's as good as I can draw it. That's really good. Here we go. Let's see how many. Lines of symmetry we have. One, Vertical. One. One. Horizontal. Two. Okay. Point Three. to point. Three. Point to point. Four. Point to point. Five. Point to point. Six. Do the bases. Seven. Do the bases. Eight. That's a bunch of lines. For regular poly, <laughs> if they're regular polygons. Same size sides, same side angles. You're going to have as many lines of symmetries as you have sides and points. Not combined. Ten sides, ten lines of symmetry if it's regular. Ten points also gets you ten. Okay, here's what you're going to do. You're circling. Which one of these? I don't need a lot. If you want to draw them, go for it. Circle. Which of these have symmetry? All of them? Circle. I didn't say blurt. No, I said like all of the ones that are. That have I want you to circle all the shapes the, these two triangles, this rhombus, maybe a square, hard to tell, and this hexagon. Circle the ones that have symmetry. Yes, somebody was talking to me. Shape E. Parker, how many were on shape E? Two. Two. I'm not going to grade this anyway, Hadley. So we're going through it together, so there's no point in grading it. You're welcome.
Patty. Huh? Does this triangle have symmetry? No. It's what kind of triangle? Do you remember? Uh, scalene. scalene. This one's a scalene triangle. All sides are different sizes. So this one, you should not have circled. That one does not have symmetry. How about the next circle? Macy. Yeah. Okay. Uh, it's not asking how many. So is that symmetrical? Yes. Give it a circle. How about the rhombus or the square? Might be a square. Parker. Yes. Okay. Again, it's not asking how many. If you did, it looks like it might have four. It looks like it might be a square. It Give it a circle. Like a spider. You know kind of does, yeah. Like a spider. How about that hexagon? Delia. Yeah. Yeah. Again, it's not asking you how many. This hexagon would have six if you were really wondering. But this one is a circle. Very good. How, how do we feel? We feel okay? Mm-hmm. All right, let's go over math boxes for today then. Now remember, if I write something down on your math boxes, you probably want to write it down too. I'm probably giving you some hints on how to solve things. And uh, I may be cutting down things that I'm asking you to do. Okay, in box one. This is page 62. They're asking you how many different factors does a prime number have? An example of a prime number is the number 3. 5 is also one. 7, 11, 13. How many factors total do or does a prime number have? Then it wants you to find the factor pairs for 48. So here's what they want. Pay attention. This is where I've taught you this before. Put the 48 down, and you start with 1. You try every number as you go up. First you see if 1 works. Is 1 going to work? Yes. 1 times 48. Then I'm going to check and see if 2 works. Hint, 2 is going to work for you because it's even. Then to see if 3 is going to work, you add the digits together, see if you can count to it by 3. 3 is the hardest one to do. After that, it's pretty much all about seeing if you can half this number and then doubling a number on this side. We are wrapping up pictures for the day. If you were missed and need to have a picture taken yet, if you could please head back to the pod area and make sure your photo gets done at this time. So anybody that was missed for pictures, if they could please head back at this time to get their photo taken. Thank you. So here. When you're listing the factor pairs, 1 and 48 are a factor pair. Do you see that? 2 is going to be matched with something. Oh, if you do multiplying in between them, I don't really care. That's OK, too. 2 and whatever 2 is matched with. You guys get what I want there? OK. This one says, this is a multiplicative comparison problem. We did this last week. Monica has saved literally says five times as much as her sister. Monica has, well, I messed this up. It should be five, five times her sister. Monica has five times her sister. You need to finish this. Monica has $100. Write the equation with the unknown. Now, when you have an unknown, that's a letter, right? Mm -hmm. Then solve it. Multiplicative comparison. I messed that up. You and I can make mistakes. OK. Just do A today. Eli, it took Eli four hours to complete a 500-piece puzzle. How many minutes is that? Four hours times 60. Four hours, 60 minutes in an hour. We're converting. 
Again, on this one, someday I want you to be able to fly on your own on these, but I'm going to help you with your estimate. Your estimate can help you with your number model. Sumi and her sister combined their sticker collections. Sumi had 374 stickers, and her sister had 193. Their cousin, Sayuri, has 743 stickers. How many more stickers does Sayuri have than the sisters? The tricky part here, guys, if we're watching, is they want to know how many more Sayuri... I just wish it would underline. I just wish this thing would work. Has than the two sisters. So we're estimating. We're just going to round things. Let's do this first. Number model with unknown. So first it's going to be Sayori, 743. Then what do we need to do? Subtract. Parentheses. Parentheses. 374 plus 190. And that's going to equal... Stickers. I used an S. I know I told you not to use an S, but my S doesn't look like a 5. This, pay attention now. Well, I'll let you write that. I'll give you a second. Sorry. Thank you. Can we use the S? As long as your S doesn't look like a 5. So this, oh, it does say with an answer, so maybe you want to put your answer there. You're also going to have to answer here. I don't really care. It's good. I'm, I'm good with it. This can help you do your estimate. Instead of 743, what could we do? 740. Okay, I heard somebody say 740. Everything's going to be the same except we're rounding the numbers. Minus... 370. 370 plus 200. You could do 200. I think why Elizabeth said to do 200 is because she's taking 4 off of here, so she wanted to make this one bigger, right? Mm -hmm. Could you do 190? Would that be wrong? No. No. So you pick what you want to do. 190. I was thinking I would probably do 190, but Elizabeth, if you did 200, are you wrong? No. Now you just have to do the steps. This plus this, and subtract it from that. Now, the problem with this is kids see this and they go, oh my gosh, there's so much work to do. It's time consuming, but is any of the work really hard? No. No, none of this work is hard. It's just time consuming. There's a difference. It's kind of like cleaning your room. Cleaning your room takes a lot of time, but it's not like it's super duper hard and physically you can't do it, right? It's just, you got to get through it. So, stick with it, persevere, and do this one. Everybody good? Okay. Number five is asking you, how do you know you found all the factors for 48? I've talked to you about that. I've taught you that. And how you know when you've done all of them. We good? Okay. Get to work.